how-to video. Today we'll be looking at how to create HTML pages using Course Genie. Course Genie HTML pages are created from Word documents, allowing users to easily author their own web pages without understanding any HTML. To start Course Genie, first go to the Add-ins tab in your Microsoft Word. Click on Course Genie and start Course Genie to begin the application. When you have started Course Genie, you will see a new Course Genie ribbon appear at the top of your page. We'll start with a new Word document to see how easily you can create HTML pages using Course Genie. Firstly, your document will need some text. Course Genie works by applying styles to, to your text. The first thing we'll have to do is apply our Course Genie styles to our document. First, I'll select the titles that I want to make into sections. Then go to Home and select the Change Styles option. In the Styles drop-down box, you will see a number of styles beginning with the letters CG. These are our, are our Course Genie styles. I'm going to make the title Basics and the title Sections section titles. I can do this by clicking, selecting the text and clicking on the CG section title style. Within each section, I want to have a number of new pages. I'm going to select the word pages and make this the name of one of my new pages. I can do this by going to the styles and selecting CG page title. Course Genie will also allow you to insert images. I'm just going to use Clipart to insert a quick image into my Course Genie document. By searching for images, I found an image I want to use. So I'll select it to put it into my Word document as usual. I'd also like to make a movie file available on my web page. To do this, I'll need to go back to my Course Genie section. Go to Add-ins. To add a video file to my Course Genie page, I need to go back to the Course Genie ribbon, click on Interaction and select Media. I need to select the type of media that I would like to add to my page. I'm going to add a Windows Media file. Then I'll browse to select my Windows Media file from my local computer. I can also specify the width and height of my movie, whether I want it to start automatically and how I want to and how I want it to appear on the page. This interaction box shows that I have added the movie file to my web page. In my website, I would also like to add links to other documents or other web pages. You can do this by selecting text, going to the insert button on the menu 
and clicking on hyperlink. I want to link to an existing file. I can browse for a file to use and select it to link the text to the file. Let's try linking to a web page. Once again, I can select some text, go to Insert, Hyperlink, and type in the name of the web page I want to link to. And click OK. Another feature of Course Genie is the adding of quiz questions. I'm going to add a quiz question to the end of my second section. To do this, I need to return to the add-ins button in the menu and click on one of the different question types that are listed in the Course Genie ribbon. Let's try adding a multiple choice question. First, I need to enter a question. Then, by clicking on the Answers tab, I can specify the sorts of answers I want my students to choose from. When I have finished adding my question, answers and feedback, I can click OK and Course Genie will add the question to my document. Now that we've created our Word document, added text, styles, inserted images and media, and created quiz questions, we're ready to generate our Course Genie web pages. To generate a Course Genie web page from our Word document, we return to the Course Genie ribbon under Add-ins. We click on Course Genie and then click on Generate Course. Course Genie will ask us to locate where we would like to save our final web pages. I've selected the desktop. Now Course Genie will prepare to create our HTML pages. I'm going to preview our new course in a web browser. Let's take a look at our new course. Course Genie automatically creates a table of contents using the headings that we specified in our original Word document. Let's look at the basics section. You remember that we made the pages and sections separate areas in our Course Genie site by adding different style tags. Course Genie uses these style tags to create different web pages. Let's, let's have a look at the images section. Here we see an example of an image that we've inserted from Clipart into our Word document. We also inserted some hyperlinks. Let's see how hyperlinks look in our final Course Genie demonstration site. Here is a hyperlink to a page on the web. And here is a hyperlink to a quiz, quiz question that's in this document. Here we can see a number of different quiz types. The quiz type we entered was a multiple choice question. Question 1 shows a multiple choice question as a student will view it. Students can answer the questions and receive feedback on their answers. We also embedded a video file. Let's see how that looks. 
This is a very basic Flash movie. Our Flash movie now presents within our new course site. Thanks very much for watching our Course Genie demonstration. If you are interested in using Course Genie, please contact us at CTLI. Thank you.